You fulfill your second duty. But Lady Mila, you wouldn't have lost the Great Spirits if not for him. No, the fault was mine and mine alone. Indeed, if Jude hadn't been there, I might never have returned safely to Nia Kara. Thanks. I'm only trying to help. But Lady Mila! The matter is not open to debate. Will you abandon your duty to this village? No. Then let's be off, Jude. I hope they haven't closed off the Sea Haven. So does that mean we'll be passing through Hamil again on the way? Hmm. Yes. That's not a bad idea. Really? Is that okay? It will give us a chance to check up on Rashigal's activity here in Ajul. If we're lucky, we might even find a way to sneak into Fenmon. Gotcha. We'll stop by Hamil then. Safe travels to you, Lord Maxwell. Thank you. Lady Mila! Please, return to us safely! supposed to be Maxwell? And you claim she has lost her powers, Pressa? Yes. If she's already hidden the key somewhere, we could have a problem. The fault is mine. I underestimated them. I apologize. If I'd only known that woman was Maxwell, I would have forced her to reveal the key's whereabouts. No matter. It is in our best interest to let her wander freely for now. Yes. Let her attract the attention of Rashigal while we quietly put all the pieces in place. Any word from Agria? She says they appear to have decided to construct a new key to replace the one they lost. We cannot ignore that. Zhao, you no longer need to watch over the girl. Join the search for the key. But, sir... If the Rashigal soldiers have withdrawn, you need not monitor her personally. It only makes sense for priorities to change. The data is safe, after all. As you say. Pressa, rendezvous with Agria and infiltrate Fenmont. Oh, so it's truly safe to leave Maxwell alone? Yes. We still have another pawn on the board. I'll have him search for the key as well.
What is it? I was mulling over our options. What if we can't take a boat straight to Fenmont? Well... I vote against taking the land route from Aljul. Crossing the mountains would be a real pain. Alvin? Alvin? We could head toward Sherilton from Sapstrath Seahaven. We? What do you mean, we? That handmaid of yours offered me a little job. He wasn't so crazy about his exalted spirit traveling with a pipsqueak for a protector. Plus, the good village folk overpaid me. It'd be a stain on my professional pride if I didn't give them their money's worth. <laughs> Very well. Good to have you back. Yeah, thanks for coming along. Thank Ivor and the villagers, not me. So, what's the plan? First, we head to Hamil to investigate Rashigal's movements. If they're still there, that is. Then you better take this. Keep it handy, just in case. Shall we go? Four great spirits get captured. Fundamentally, the four are masses of mana. The Lance of Kresnik absorbs mana and apparently is able to store it. I never thought that was even possible. Apparently it is. We have to go rescue the four then. I do like the pluck, but this might be a case where a bit of pluck will get you a lot of dead. A pissed off med student's probably not a tall order for the group that bagged the four great spirits. Left the shrine in Nia Kara. That's a secret for grown-ups. It sounds like you're trying to hide something. Figured that out, did you? Do you want to ask what I was doing? If you don't want to tell me, that's fine. If it's fine with you, then I ain't telling. You don't want to tell me? You don't want to ask? I'm starting to think I'd rather not know. I'm starting to think you're probably right. Yeah! 
Let's do this. Okay. Show of courage. Who's next? My sword rings true. to just leave the temporal stones there without putting them back? It's fine. Just keep quiet about it and no one will even know it was us. Watch out for the rocky outcroppings. They might be monsters in disguise. Thank you. 
is a piece of work. I don't value his temper, but he is quite skilled. He said he's been serving you for years. Yes. He cleans up the shrine, he runs errands, always with a lot of enthusiasm. He buys my clothes and arranges them into outfits. What? Wow. Your handmaid has exquisite taste. Yes. The clothes are very comfortable. I quite like them. <laughs> Thank you. 
of my past. You see the way Mila freezes those enemies in their tracks? I guess she really isn't a bondage. Oh, is that what the technique is called? Oh, I thought I'd get more of a rise out of you than that. I'm just tired of your lies and innuendos. Just give it up already. Oh, and now I'm the one being tied down by your sadistic decrees. Sorry, Jude. I'm not that into bondage play. But it is true that some people can only experience true intimacy when they're tied and bound. The conversation takes a surprising turn. Are you speaking from personal experience? No, I read it in a book. It was called Men and Women Beneath the Sheets. What sort of books are you reading? There was a similar comment in The Aesthetics of Being the Catcher, as well. That one's probably about something different. Oh? Well, well, I wouldn't really know. Sounds like Mila's more into total freedom than tying anyone down. We want to protect this world. of man.
defeat my blade. Total annihilation.
if we must. Man, are we good or what? Um, yeah. Ouch, the cold shoulder. You evil brat! idea what you people put us through? Is this Rashigal's doing? They couldn't find us, so they took it out on the village. Leave here at once! You outsiders are nothing but trouble! She was like a completely different person. Let's see if the villagers know anything about Rashigal's activities. Don't forget, we'll be leaving soon. Gotcha. Thank you. before, right? Whoops! Clumsy little 
little guy, aren't you? This is Tipo. He won't hurt you. And this is Ellie. But you should call her Elise. Nice to meet ya. Uh, <laughs> uh, nice to meet you too. Um, both of you. Um, are you okay? Sure, just thrown for a loop. My name's Jude. What? Well, hey, Jude! Thanks for helping us out before! Thank you. So what exactly happened? Can you tell me? Well, first, all these meanie men showed up from who knows where, someplace far away. Then, the big man whooped them all. Oh, yeah, that guy. But then he wandered away somewhere. Right! That's when the meanie men started bullying the villagers. Is the big guy a buddy of yours, Elise? No. He's a bad guy. He locked Ellie up. We arrived here together in Amnes. But they started chucking rocks at us the second we stepped outside. Those meanies. <sighs> Jude? Oh, sorry. Are the two of you waiting for friends here or something? Friends? We don't have any. Well, you do now. Huh? Oh. Well, hey! Jude is our pal! Hmm. Mind if I tell my friends about you, Elise? Why? I don't like the way the villagers here treat you. I want to ask my friends if there's anything we can do. Sure, why not? Jude's our pal. We can trust him. Right, Ellie? Thanks, Elise. You just wait right here. Oh, you want to come with? It's the doll girl. We're finished here. We didn't learn anything useful. It's time to go. Wait, we need to talk. It's about the girl. Villagers do seem to treat her like a pariah. Until that big fellow Zhao returns, I don't see her situation improving. But Elise insists Zhao isn't her friend. He locks her up when he's around, and the villagers treat her horribly when he's away. Sounds like she's stuck between a jerk and a hard place. Unless we bring her with us. Bring her with us? And then what? Have you given this any thought? You do remember my mission. Yeah. Uh... <sighs> Very well. She can come. Really? Jude, do you remember what I told you at the falls? Huh? Be yourself and do what you have to do. That's what I said to you. Yeah, I remember. Those words still apply. Can I assume your decision to bring the girl is just another step in your path? That it will help you find the answer you seek? Y yes Then tell Elise she's coming. You got it. That was nice of you. She won't affect my mission. 
If she slows me down or gets herself in trouble, I'll just leave her behind. My intent from the beginning was to do this alone after all. I haven't properly introduced Elise yet. I'm Elise Ludis. Hello. Well, you look like you'll be a fine lady when you grow up. I'm Alvin. It's nice to meet you. I, um, well... Don't talk to strangers, Elise! Strangers are bad. Why is this stuffed animal talking? Huh? Tipo always talks. Naturally! Oh, so I'm the one who's reacting strangely? Sure looks that way! I'm arguing with the stuffed animal. How unusual. Unusual, she says. Coming from you, Mila? I can't believe soldiers would come here. I knew we should have never kept that strange girl here. No child that age should be able to use spirit arts like that. It's not normal. It doesn't matter. We couldn't refuse Chief Jao's requests after he forgave our tribute debts during the famine. That may be, but he's an outsider too. They're nothing but trouble. Don't you remember when they stole our prized apples and oranges? And to add insult to injury, we found out they were growing them outside without our permission. Our ancestors built this village from nothing, without help from anybody else. The only people we can trust are each other. Exactly right. <gasps> Elise, you shouldn't listen to them. Why? Those were their true feelings. <sighs> but that lady used to add an egg in my porridge. And that man patched up the holes in the shed that we stayed in. I think it could count those as their true feelings, too. 
Agreed. If they didn't truly believe in helping others, it would be difficult for them to survive way out here. Then why did they chase Elise out? Sometimes you have to cut off outsiders to protect the people on the inside. Staying alive isn't always pretty. It's a matter of priorities, I suppose. <sighs> Look at all these barrels! Hey! Don't drink from those! They're full of strange juice that makes you dizzy. to those that are most dear to me. That wasn't too bad. So this is experience.
You have big hands. Interesting. No wonder you pack quite a punch. I, um, thanks.
Thank you. 